Okay guys, today is Toy Hayo, which is one of, if not the biggest, I almost fell, toy show collectible convention in the state of Ohio, and we're going. So I'm very excited. I want to show you guys what I'm bringing. Um, this is kind of like basic, like whatever, like it's nothing too crazy, but I want to show you. Per usual, bringing my cute little Ed Hardy side bag. I love this bag because it fits everything I need. I can put my cards, my keys, my cash, and my camera all in here, and it's right in front of me, so I love this so much, so I have that. I'm also bringing two book bags this time, one for me, one for Moanda for the goodies, so that way we can lessen the load to take it out to the car and stuff. For the car, I have a basic tote, empty tote, but I'm bringing one acrylic pop shield. This is for like if I find a grail pop, I want to slap it right in here. Um, if I buy any pops that just don't have protectors because they're all going to be, you know, above like $40. I have three plain protectors that I'm going to bring. And then I'm also going to bring, I don't know if they'll have any comics. Whoa, that was bad. That was bad. That just fell right into my tote of unorganized mess. I don't know if they're going to have any comics there, but if they do, I can put them in here. Even if they're not high dollar, this will protect them from getting ripped or anything inside the tote with all the other stuff. So, and we will be good to go. I'm walking my girls and then we're heading to Miranda's and I'm hoping that I can vlog. So let's see. Alright guys, first unhauling, sneak little peek here, nothing too crazy, I haven't found any of the grails that I wanted, I don't think I will, but got some puzzles, we did get some sodas, but what I fear with the sodas is that they opened them, found the chase, and then sold the commons, because once they pull the chase out of the case, then that's it. Found Craven, I don't have him beat to crap though, but for five bucks. And then I found a solo Spider-Man pop that I didn't have for 10 bucks. I'm gonna leave this stuff out and then reassess it before we drive off. Oh, me going to look for a button. Get my Dr. Pepper. A little shippy ship. Oh. Moanda. I didn't bring my regular door, so my keys are accessible. Moanda. It's still got ice in it. You know what's gonna smack? Canes. Mm -hmm. I had it two days ago, and that's why I sent you that picture, and it was just so good. Wow, these people got a lot of stuff. Holy crap, they're overloaded. A lot of people, I feel like, are genuinely just here for the autographs and things. There's not too many people looking around, but... Oh yeah, I didn't zip up your bag. We have unhauled, and we're going back in. There's a room we didn't go through yet. And then I think we're gonna re-go through that first room, because that was just really overwhelming. Yeah, I wanna stop and get I... that uh, magic pack for Connor. Okay, yeah, that's from the card shop that I get all my comics at on the square so that's how i knew those people but i'm actually you know i'm kind of okay with not spending too much but i am kind of sad because there were some things that brandon wanted and i had allotted money for and nobody has them so that's a thing but is what it is how's moanda doing we're vibing we're vibing carrying things we're gonna get canes and then we're probably gonna go shop a little bit since I don't, I don't even think I spent a hundred dollars. I spent $10. zero. Ten dollars. She's, oh. Cause I bought those. Oh, uh, the sodas. sodas. And then she's gonna buy this uh, card pack. So. Magic the Gathering. Magic the Gathering. Alright, I'm 
I'm in my little collectible corner, but I wanted to show you guys everything that I got from the toy show. It was a lot of fun. There was a lot of stuff on display, obviously. Lots of things to look at. Since it was heavily wrestling focused there were several several stands that were just wrestling things which is obviously something that i'm not super interested in so i felt like the selection this year what just fell oh. my iron spider just took a tumble but i felt like the selection this year wasn't as good as the last year that i went um there wasn't too many funko pops there was some but not like a super lot and all the spider-man pops that they had were pretty much ones that i already owned um there was like a sandman that i didn't have that i kind of wish i bought because it was a decent price but it had some staining and stuff on the side so i didn't grab it i spent less than a hundred dollars and i took six hundred dollars with me so I did not spend nearly as much as I was anticipating. I think I spent $90 in total, but this is not in the order that I bought things. But the first thing we have here is a Spider-Man trading card pack. This is the 30th annual trading card set. Super fun. I thought that it was opened when I bought it, so I was like, okay, whatever. Took it out and realized it wasn't opened, but I opened it. It was only three dollars like is it super worth anything probably not so i did open it but then i realized that this was a set that i already have so i kind of wish i left it sealed but that's okay it was fun to open and rip and the packaging is still pretty minty i bought the spider-man entertainment earth wood grain um pop i did not have this one the guy had it for 15 dollars, but it is damaged there's a dent Oh my gosh, over here, as you can kind of see there. And on the top, there was a crease. So I asked him if he had any wiggle room on this and he said 10 bucks. So I got it for 10 instead of 15. At another stand, I got this Spider-Man Homecoming pop that I didn't have and it's actually Captain America. And this is when he is sitting on the chair and I didn't have this pop yet. They had it for 20 worth about like 30 so I thought that was pretty good it's in minty condition and it had a protector on it so I grabbed it um, this isn't one that I was super looking for but since I wasn't finding as many spider-man pops I was like might as well grab this one it was on my wish list so I am excited to have it now at another booth they had five dollar pops and one of them was this Craven which I don't have it is super beat up though like super beat up like it's all crunched on the top the back is concaved in the bottom is smashed like it's super beat up they had another one that was even more beat up than this but for five dollars i was like i'm just gonna grab it even if i want to take it out of box and then after i bought this at like two booths later they had like one for ten dollars and it looked pretty mint so another thing where like i really should have done a full lap before i bought anything but i got ahead of myself when i saw that they were five dollars and i just grabbed them along with that one they had some of the seven dwarfs and these can be pretty good i think doc or happy is the most valuable one if i'm not mistaken and they're worth like sixty dollars bashful i got sleepy and I got Sneezy. Sneezy is the cheapest one. He's only worth about $15. But Bashful and Sleepy, I think I looked up just Bashful. I didn't look up Sleepy, but Bashful was like $39 around. When I looked him up on Mercari, there was a lot of different lots of them for a pretty good amount. So I think it'd be reasonable to lot them together and ask 50 three pops that I just showed you would basically be free if I can sell these for that much. I got this lunchbox. This was five dollars but um, we saw this the first time we walked around and then it was still there and I was like I'm just gonna get it. It's a Spider-Man 2 metal lunchbox and it looks pretty cool. I really like it. I think for five dollars and the fact that it's Spider-Man 2 the best Spider-Man from the original trilogy I just thought it was pretty awesome, so I did grab this little lunchbox to put on my shelf. Some fun things. I got this amazing Spider-Man 100-piece puzzle. This was $5, but it is old. 1981-1988. And I love the graphic on the front. I think that it looks super, super cool. So I decided to pick this up. So it's not sealed. He had some sealed ones. 
but he wanted like 25 or 30 dollars for them because they were sealed and you can see some of the pieces put together so who knows maybe i'll put it together and i'll frame it there's really different possibilities and then i could just have the box on display but for right now i thought that the box was cool so i grabbed that and then he also had this one this one's pretty beat up he had this one for three dollars but i love stuff like this like this is really giving like nostalgia you know like this is something that i would find at like a flea market and be like absolutely let me pay three dollars for that you know so it is an amazing spider-man puzzle this is the graphic on the front look at how beautiful that is it's all like ripped up beat up but super super cool super fun i don't have any spider-man puzzles so i also got this this is a hikari funko product um it's a little limited edition exclusive figure and i actually just got one of these from the exchange when i did a trade-in which let me go grab that one for you so this is the one that i already had i just got this two days ago i did a trade at the exchange got this and then got 50 dollars in cash towards taking with me and this one the price is kind of all over the place i paid 25 for it technically didn't pay that though because i did a trade-in and stuff like that so yeah but this one is limited to a thousand pieces it's black and white but these are from the amazing spider-man 2 so it's actually andrew garfield and i got this one and then i saw that there was this variant there's another black glitter variant and there's a gold variant so i was kind of had them on the radar they told me at the exchange that they had this one and they had it for 25 from the sellings this one goes for between 15 to 25 dollars this one sells for between like 35 to 40 dollars but there's only a few active listings and they want like over a hundred dollars for them so i don't know what's going on there but i found this one and i was pretty excited because i was like oh my gosh like i needed that one and he had it for 20 dollars and since I knew that it last sold for 15, I didn't want to pay 20. So he was like, make an offer, make an offer. So I said $10 and he said, meet me in the middle of 15. And I was like, okay, because that's what it last sold for. So I'm pretty excited about it though, because it's actually Andrew Garfield and it's the red and the blue limited to 1200 pieces. It is a Funko product. I think these are really fun. I like love these. So now that I have both of these, I'm super excited. I need to get the gold one. I need to get the gold one. I just have to do it. They originally wanted $75, slashed it out, 75 to 30 to 20, and I paid 15. So that's pretty crazy. And then the last thing that I got you guys was a Funko Soda. I am pretty confident this is gonna end up being a common because what they probably did was bought a case, opened until they got the chase, and then sold all the commons. But I don't have the chase of this one. Figured I'd open it and give it a try. This is Agent Venom. This is a San Diego PX Previews exclusive, which if we do, would be pretty sick. I don't know what the chase is, so let's see. It's looking like the common to me but this one's in better shape than mine mine has a bunch of black marks on its actual eyeball so this is the common which was expected still pretty cool i'm okay with that for five dollars my friend got some star wars ones for her dad for father's day so i'm sure he'll love those because they don't really care about the chases but that's everything that i got nothing too crazy some trading cards some pops a lunchbox puzzles but i am very happy with everything that i got thank you guys so much for watching let me know if you guys have had any success at toy shows in your area and i'll see you again very very soon peace out girl scouts